Welcome guys to the next tutorial in the Excel 2019 tips and tricks series. In this particular tutorial, we are going to discuss two main functions related with the date calculations. This date diff and EO month. So before starting this tutorial, I would like you to please click the subscribe button and check the bell icon so that you don't ever miss any update from so let's get into this tutorial in this worksheet right here we want to calculate some dates in the columns right here f g h and i they all have red headings for the moment and the basic information we are starting with is birth date in column d hire date in column e so how many years of service is this there are any number of different ways to do this, but perhaps the easiest and the best way is to use a function called date diff. How long has this person been here? At the time of this recording, uh, it's almost 9th September 2019. So if you are looking at this file at a later date, the formulas that you will be using will come up with different results in some cases but the formula will be the same. So I will zoom in holding down the control key and using the mouse wheel to zoom in a bit. I want to use the function right here, date diff, years of service, column F. This is based on the higher date. The date diff function allows us to analyze the difference between two dates. The starting date comes first, that is in cell E2, comma, and we want to do the calculation based on today's date. So we use the function called today. Now, at the time I'm using this, this means September 9, 2019. If you are using this at a later date, of course, it will be a different date and the years of service might be different, comma. And then what do we put in? Within double quotes, we could put in Y for year, and that is what we will be using. In other scenarios, you might use M for months, D for days, Y, upper or lower case makes no difference. And final, right parenthesis right here. So as I press enter here, because it's September 2019, you are about to see this number. It will be later in the year. And if you are trying this after almost December of 2019, you are likely to see uh, 24, 25 or whatever depends on when you are watching this tutorial. Or maybe if you do it a year later, even higher. So I will double click to copy this down the column. And now I'm going to skip over column G for the moment. That's a little bit trickier. What's the age of the person today? That's pretty much the same idea as what we did here with the years of service. And by the way, when you are calculating years of service or age, these are going to be exact to the day, exactly in the same way that we count our birthdays. So if you are 39 years and 11 months and 29 days old, well, you are still 39, even though you might be only a day away from your 40th birthday. So same idea, equal date diff for the age of the person. Birth dates in cell D2, and we want to compare with today's date. Comma, double quote Y, double quote, right parenthesis. I will press Control Enter, so the active cell does not move downward. There it is there. <laughs> Well, we will hold on to that for a moment because if we double click now, it is going to nowhere. We will copy those dates downward after we finish column G. The age at hire date. How old was this person at the time of hire? And here we are going to be using date diff simply with two different dates. This will not be a moving target the way the other two entries have been. Date diff. The starting date here would be the birth date that is in cell D2 and the ending date, higher date that is in E2, double quote Y, double quote and control enter. 
that's almost 32 30 years whatever in your case if this person is now this one's going to be a little bit trickier in column g because we want to calculate when the next evaluation is due and let's say the rule is these are due in the month of hire on your anniversary date by the end of the month there is a function called eo month meaning end of month and you might have to experiment with this a little bit but eo month says we have got a starting date what is the starting date what is date starting date in this case it's the higher date in cell e2 how many months into the future we are looking well how many years has this person been here so we want to take the year of service right here times 12. now if we press enter we are gonna get an answer here but is it gonna be the correct answer this is the question this person next evaluation should be if we are doing this in the june of 2020 or whatever we want this evaluation to due to be due next december that appears but at the end of the month of december but if but it takes us back a year instead so what do we do Eight twelve. i don't think uh, that is exactly intuitive but we do come up with the correct answer here and as i double click to copy this down the column we see what is happening in the other case so in each case the evaluation is due by the end of the anniversary month you might say it that way so this person hired in april evaluation due at the april and because we are already past the evaluation date of 2019 this is when the next evaluation is due now i could have copied these formulas earlier by dragging downward because there is adjacent data now I will just double click the lower right hand corner of for each of them or essentially do both together just by highlighting them and double clicking so we are seeing different uses primarily of the date diff function here in calculating differences using them in different ways here and the eo month function meaning the end of month here by the way sometimes you might even use this in reverse order moving backward but certainly not in this particular example right here this is our starting date so we want to move forward so many months to come up with date next evaluation date so we have got the tools to achieve all these objectives here using the excel functions date diff and eo month hope so you have liked the tutorial please click the subscribe button and check the bell icon so that you don't miss the future videos in the excel 2019 series thanks take care and bye bye for now